Good morning, Lisa Norton with your Paradise Group of Caldwell Banker United Realtors. And I'm really excited because today we're starting a new series in our video series and it's going to be called Real Estate Over Breakfast. So I know you're busy and I'm busy so we're going to do short little clips about topics that you have asked me about and we're just going to do it while we're fixing breakfast or eating breakfast. You can view this while you're eating breakfast. So I'm going to get started cooking but we're still going to talk and we're going to talk about in the seller's market how first impressions are still very very important so let's get started I'm gonna make me an egg white omelet today but what I wanted to talk to you about is um, in our area here we have several markets that are considered sellers market which means there's less than six months of inventory and in many cases there's less than three months of inventory so even though the inventory levels may be down and that's usually really good for a seller the thing is the buyers are still very very particular about that property that they're going to make an offer on they are going to want the property to still be in primo condition so your curb appeal number one is still very important because you know when they pull up that's the first impression you get and you know we only get one chance at a first impression and so if they drive up with you and all of a sudden they tell you mm, I don't think I want to go in that house well you know I've had that happen with my own customers and it's a, it's a little embarrassing and it's a little awkward because what if the seller's one of those and you know there are some of you out there that want to stay there because you have a pet and you want to take the dog out for a walk so you'll just leave when they show up and you're sitting at the window and you see us drive off and then all of a sudden you're upset so it's really important that you want to get the curb appeal so that when they pull up they really want to get out of the car and then they're coming to the front door and here's what I find many sellers miss they are trying so hard to get the interior complete that they do not realize that it's just as important to have the exterior complete especially at that front entrance so there you are with your agent she's fumbling with her keys and the lock box and her cell phone and so while that's happening what do you think your customers are doing well mr. and mrs. buyer are looking around you know they're like checking everything out and you have forgotten that there's little cobwebs up there in the corner mm -hmm. or there's some little dust bunnies down here in the corner or you know that front door yeah it probably could have used a fresh coat of paint but you didn't really think it was all that bad but yeah they're seeing it's faded it's a little worn and this is what goes through the buyer's mind hmm. if they didn't take care of the exterior what's the interior like and so that's what starts happening and then you've got to make sure that when they come in there's still that wow factor so it's really important number one you want to make them get out of the car number two you want them to come through that front door all that interior stuff still needs to be done the toilet seats down everything in its place cabinets clean and clear that sort of thing but the most important thing is that I'm finding is that first impression at the front door. So go out. Stand inside of your front door and just look around. You be the critical buyer. And if you see some issues that need to be addressed, now's the time to do them. All right, I got to get my omelet started. So this is it for now. I'll see you next time. This is Lisa Norton with your Paradise Group of Caldwell Banker United Realtors, where you call it paradise and we call it home.